Hello once again. I welcome you for this ethical hacking. In this module, I am going to explain about the steganography, which is again a steganography is a method of hiding a secret data by embedding it into either an audio or a video or image or a text file into a text file. It is one of the methods employed to protect secret or sensitive data from malicious attacks. So I'll just brief out like. Suppose if you want to send a secret message to one of your friend who is somewhere else, so what you can do is that the secret message can be embedded into a public file. Well, it is an ordinary file, but there is a secret message behind it. It can be a message, then it is called as a steganography as in a document. If it is in an image, then we call a steganography in image. If it is in a video, we call a steganography in video, and similarly in audio also. You can embed any type of files in any of the carrier files. So this is quite common practice for the hackers to send files in a secret manner. So here in this experiment, we will learn about couple of things. Like one is plain text technography using Snow, and then we will learn about image technography using Quickstable. The third one will also try to learn about how to hide files inside a file. We'll use one as a data file and the other we'll use as a carrier file. Carrier file is the main thing which we transmit and the, so we will learn about that and also once transmitted how to restore back the file. Okay, let me quickly move ahead to the first one which is, uh, I mean the snow. Snow is basically used for plain text technography. We will hide the data. So let me move ahead. So first one, I'll be explaining about the snow. The snow can be downloaded from this particular URL, which I mean darkset.com.au. Okay, so first is that what I'm going to do uh, in this snow directory, I'll create a file called as new text file and say maybe uh, sample. Okay, I'll say hello. This is a test message. Test message to test steganography. So this is a simple text file. Okay, if you open this, nothing else will be there. The same thing. If I say type sample dot text, this is the file. This is the file. So now, now what I'm going to do, I will enclose a secret message inside this particular sample text. How do I do that? How do I do that? See, I can say snow hyphen capital C for create hyphen M create M for message. So my Swiss bank account number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 or maybe something long more and say hyphen P for password within quotes I can do magic what's my file sample.txt to sample new.txt so now the secret message is encrypted inside this main file which is called as sample.txt you can see now there are two files one is sample.txt the other is sample new.txt okay you see here when I open this file the data is as it is, nothing else. The data looks as it is. There is no, I mean, edit side. So how to, so this file, even if you say, type sample new.txt, sample new.txt, it displays only the original file, nothing else. So at the, this file is transmitted to the receiver end. From the receiver, what he tries to again use with the help of Snow, Snow is publicly available tool, if a passcode is also been, if the passcode is given wrong, you will not get the original message sample new dot text. You see this, my Swiss bank account number is in this way, the hacker can send messages secretly and the message also is sent accordingly. Okay. So now I will move ahead with the next one which is, this is plain text technography. I will move ahead with the next one is image technography. This is quick stego I will be using quick stego so this is a simple one again you can if you want you can download quickcrypto.com so here what i am going to do i am just installing this particular one quick stego 
it's a simple uh, package give all the default values and say finish okay quick step so here you see this open an image so i have for our experiment purpose i have kept a uh, image also here so my location of this particular one is basically like from steganography quick stego this particular one a beautiful car number in so now i will also uh, use some data of course this is something secret which i want to enclose in this particular image say copy okay i will add this email some data some file some like a account number or maybe password or something password hello and say high text say high text now this data is hidden inside the image so finally what you can do you can save this file you can save this file save this image file okay save this image file on the desktop i'm trying to save so just say save this say save on the desktop now what i'm going to do you see i'm just coming out so this is a file you can see this is the image which is there now i'm deleting my text also i don't want to make use what text to change quick stay go and open this not this this is the source one so i'm deleting this because that's only okay now i have my file which is there on the desktop open image which is there on the desktop number i have this data which is brought back this is called as image technography this is again very very uh, much in use generally hackers keep messages across this particular uh, images it can be a celebrity photo or even a cricket star photograph so people may see that this is the image a common image but behind that there is a secret data which they use for transmission this is how image technography can be demonstrated okay and now i'll be using this stealth this is again another one which is there uh, uh, first i'll install and then i'll explain about what next to be done so here i'm just uh, using all the defaults for installation of uh, this is stealth so it takes a second i mean it's time and say finish okay so you see here in the start you can see the programs called as i mean stealth files see run this particular one now to understand better what i'll do i'll take two files one by naming as main this is my main file i'll say copy i'll place it here and say this has paste and i'll name it as main this is called as rename as main means this data is very very important secret or i'll say this is secret okay i will use another file called maybe i can make use this picture which is called as a carrier i'll say this one as carrier so suppose during transmission if anyone wants to open this they'll open this file and only they can see only an image but inside this this file will be there but now we will be transmitting this file this contains some data something which is there this has to be secretly transferred so now what we are going to do is just say hide files so this is a carrier file this is the main file so here i go to tools i mean sorry not tools stenography and stealth files so i'll say the secret is the main file and i will use this carrier file as i mean this i'll also create a password some password called as maybe uh, i can give as yes is the new password that's all and say hide files so where you want to make is so destroy source files it will destroy choose the source file we have to, we have selected choose the carrier and say hi okay now you can see now you can see i mean this file has been increased been done so now this file carrier file which is transmitted which i have copied in the desktop i'll delete this file secret yes okay so this file has been transmitted now now i will bring back my original file uh, remove hidden files or uh, retrieve files sorry 
So choose the carrier file which is there on the desktop. I mean carrier and enter the passcode which I have given as PSSWRD for it reflects the destination directory. Otherwise I will keep this one as a desktop itself. On this it should be for it for it reflects. Yes. I hope you have observed this file which has been retrieved. So in this way you can basically the secret file inside a carrier file transmit it and then again bring back the file. Okay, so this is in this module we have learned about three things. One is image technography, plain text technography and also stealth. Okay, thank you.